Hi guys, welcome to the second episode of PCF tutorial for beginners. Today we will be discussing how to set up your environment for developing PCF controls. So before we start, please note the steps mentioned here are for beginners only. So once you have acquired enough experience in developing, developing PCF controls, you can adopt to any method of your choice. So to start with, you need to install Node.js. I have given the link in the description. You can follow, this, follow the steps to install Node.js. It's pretty straightforward. And the second step is to install Visual Studio Code or you can use Visual Studio Excel. And the third step is very important. You need to install PowerUp CLI. I have given the link in the description also. This is a command line interface for developing PCF controls. So all the operations in the phase of developing a PCF control is using command line interface commands. That's it, you're ready. I have given a sample command here. See, this is a command for developing or creating a new project for PCF control. It is back PCF init namespace and the namespace is sample I have given here. Name of the control I have given sample control and the template is field. There are two types of templates available as of now. One is field and another one is data set. Field is for normal fields in CDS environment like a text field, numeric field, currency field, option set field, etc. And data set is for subgrids or views. So you can use both of these controls. And what do you feel? These steps are pretty like you will have to buy hurt all the controls or commands to develop a PCF control. Like you have to you have to use a command to build a control, create a new project, debug it, deploy it, pack as a solution. So all this you have to follow or buy hurt all the commands. And uh, personally, I don't prefer by hurting all these commands. So I'm using another tool. It will help you to run all the process without using command line interfaces. It is PCF custom control builder tool in the XRM toolbox by Power Maverick. Let's see how to use that thing. If you haven't used XRM toolbox till now, download it. I have given the link in the description from the download folder or run XRM toolbox. So this is a toolbox, a tool set of a CRM developer or Dynamic 365 developer. It contains all the tools required to make your life or data life easier. So uh, there are many tools uh, which can help you like uh, set, perform certain operations which are not available by out of the box in the CRM environment. So I have opened the uh, XRM toolbox. Let's see how it works. So if you haven't installed the PCF custom control builder tool, you can install the plugin from here. Uh, this window lists all the plugins in the system in the XRM toolbox. You can search for PCF and you will get it. You can select and install. So since I have already installed this one, I'm closing this one. And here it will list all the recently used plugins. Since I'm using this one mostly, PCF control uh, builder is the top one. Or else you can go to tools, you can search for PCF, get it, you can open it. So it is asking me whether I need to connect to an organization. I'm selecting no. If you have selected that, it is easy for you to deploy. You can di directly deploy or port the solution from here except to the, to the CDS environment. So this is the PCF custom control builder tool plugin or plugin. It has a lot of options. You can directly uh, go to BCF gallery from here. You can see sample controls. You can update the CLI, which we have installed from here, the version, or you can download it from here. And you can perform all the operations, like creating a new project, building it, testing it, deploying without solution, or pack, packing a solution, like creating as a solution, then building a, uh, that solution. Then it can be managed or unmanaged and deploying directly to the 365 environment or CDS environment. So that's it, guys. How do you feel? This is much easier, right? Instead of using uh, the command lines by hitting all the commands, typing the commands, and if there is some commas or space, some issues are there, then you will be stuck. So no need to by hit any commands. You can use this tool. So that's it for today. Get all these things ready. In the next video, we will be seeing how to create a PCF control or how to use this PCF custom control tool to create your first project. Okay, till then, bye-bye. Thank you, guys.